Hello, NYWCites. I am the administrator of the NYWC message board, Robert Lottie. Draw the Line 2015 was a very good show at the NYWC Sportatorium. We actually started out with a pre-show match, which saw Jesse Messiano, I apologize if I got the wrong name, as he defeated Scotty Goodson. Um, hopefully, Jesse Messiano will get invited back, and not just because he won the match. Then, uh, out comes for the main show, founding father John Curse, co-owners Shane, Forge, and Joe. And John was very emotional, talking about uh, the passing of Southern Vinny Stylin a few weeks ago. He uh, mentioned that Vinny was around when, since NYWC's beginning back in the year 2000. And eventually they played a video package of him set to Leonard Skinner's Freebird, which was a very nice touch. If that wasn't enough, the Dirty Rednecks theme began to play. Out came J.T. Kaysen, a.k.a. Dirty J.T., and indestructible Joey Tell, a.k.a. Dirty Joe, accompanied by Dirty Moore and Big Daddy Haystacks, as Etel and Kaysen defeated the Fella Twins, Eddie McQueen and Rick Cataldo. Up next was a match presented by Tier 1 Wrestling, which will be holding a show at the Sportatorium this Friday night, December the 4th, we saw Sonny Kiss defeat the unpredictable Jay George. The next matchup was presented by CZW's Dojo Wars as The Hook, Kurt Robinson, accompanied by Sozio, defeated Utah, spelled Y-U-T-A. Up next from the Brother Club, we saw tag team action, Braden Knight and Aiden Bale with Brooke Danielle as they defeated Angelo Andrews and Justin Ventura. In singles competition, the Lariat DJ High defeated the Young Lion Alexander James. In the six-man tag team matchup, Apollyon, Boo Sullivan, and Bam Sullivan defeat the Man of Steel Mike Verna, Jesse Vane, and Talon. After the, getting the win, Apollyon and the Sullivans continued the onslaught. At that point, they had gone off to intermission. After intermission, we come back with Aria Cadenza, the Starlet Killer, defeating Sammy Pickles to retain the Starlet Championship. After gaining the victory, Cadenza hit Pickles with a, a Vader bomb. Then Willow Nightingale um, had comes out. Cadenza well, come out. Willow came out with a steel chair, and as she's checking on Pickles, Cadenza hits Willow in the back with the chair. Up next, a great singles match. The premier athlete, Anthony Neese, defeated Flawless Blake Morris of Flawless and Lawless. Up next in a tag team grudge match, shall we say, Tyler J. Ro Murphy and Chrissy Rivera defeat Tony Mamaluke and C.J. Bambino on disqualification when Mamaluke uh, decided to rough up the referee. After Mamaluke and Bambino had left the ring, they eventually come back out and continue the attack on Murphy and Rivera, so looks like this may not be over yet. Next, we saw the A-listers leader, Absolute Alvin, accompanied by P.J. Stackpole, Ultimo Maya, and Ian Aldwin. Uh, Alvin defeated Chainsaw Joe Gacy to become the new Fusion champion. Can't believe uh, it's been three-plus years since he went from the crowd to the ring, and he's definitely earned it. Up next was main event time, as the Devil's Outlaw Stockade joined forces with King Mega to take on Anthony the Stallion, Lacera, and the Big O. Just when it looked like the Big O was finally going to get his hands on Stockade, the lights in the Sportatorium go out. And Big O's alone in the ring with Apollyon, Boo Sullivan, Bam Sullivan, and King Mega until the Man of Steel Mike Verna, Jesse Vane, and Talon help even the odds. And eventually a Pier 6 brawl erupts and LaSara hit a dive on, on the King Mega and company. And um, I guess we can say prelude? Okay, here's our personal notes. You know, great seeing Jessica, Joey. Welcome back, Donnie. Welcome back, Jay, who hasn't been to a show in forever. Jay, Gracie and Jamie, Oliver, Chris. Who else I remember seeing at this event? Oh, Craig, who was right behind me. Um... No. Well, here's some memorable quotes. Okay. Mm. 
thank you, Mr. Latte uh, Forge, when I hand him my ticket after coming through the door. Mr. Latte, curse in response to Forge. What am I, a coffee now? Me in response to Forge. She brought her own? Crusher Dugan when he saw Jessica with her own megaphone. You don't need a megaphone, Crusher to Jessica. And I don't know who that was somewhere behind us that yelled, shut the fuck up, when Jessica was screaming. You can't, you don't like being around loud people. You, could, you know you could have watched the show from somewhere else, pal. I have John Kurtz, I, I gotta I gotta hand it to you. I'm sure it was pretty tough getting through that uh, ceremony telling everyone about Vinnie Stylin's passing and I was surprised I knew who I remember seeing you when I first went to the shows back in two thousand four. I didn't know he was with you from the beginning. So I imagine how tough it was to lose someone at what was he, thirty three, thirty four years old? Because at the end of the video they it said nineteen eighty one to two thousand fifteen, so yeah, I'm guessing 33 or 34, going on 35. Very young to go. That's young to go, and he had not wrestled in, in maybe five-plus years. Now, LYWC presents its <laughs> last hurrah of 2015 with Toward the Circus on Saturday, December 19th, which is my birthday! And I believe there was a match already announced, unless I'm mistaken. It was announced by Jason Linick that the premier athlete, athlete Anthony Deese, was going one-on-one -on -one with making his NYWC debut, Masada. In addition, here's a match just I'd like to see for the next for this next show. I'd like to see Aria Cadenza defend the Starlet Championship against Willow Nightingale. I'd like to see Absolute Alvin defend the Fusion Champion against now former Fusion Champion Chainsaw Joe Gacy. I'd like to see a rematch with Tyler Murphy and Chrissy Rivera against Tony Mawaluke and CJ Bambino. I'd like to see um, the Man of Steel Mike Verna and Talon take on Boo and Bam Sullivan. Anthony Lacerra and Jesse Vane face King Mega and Apollyon. See Big O one-on-one -on -one with Stockade for the championship. Uh... Obviously, since some people were missing due to being at other shows, I'm sure Flawless and well, Rex Flawless and Lawless will defend the tag team championship. Milk Chocolate will be back. Greek God Papa Don and T.J. Marconi, the, from the Brother Club, will be in it, be in, be there. By the way, I I'd like to see more. I think I want to see Brooke Danielle in the ring. I mean, it's one thing to stand in the corner, but not many people get in the business to do that. Mm. Well, um, ah, well, actually, folks, I, I do apologize for the first um, v recap video of, of this recap, trying to put it on YouTube because it was uh, the audio was taken out due to the fact that I was playing Hold the Line by Toto at the beginning of the video and Due to copyright issues, the audio was taken out, so hopefully you know, that won't happen again. Um, anybody? Okay, now, is Kano of the A-listers gone from NYWC? I haven't seen him on the shows in months. Oh, and... Um, Hope you let Ian Aldwin wrestle again. I mean, I mean, he, he's definitely, definitely a good addition to um, the A-listers presentation. Dang it! Who else can I think of here? Um, well, I have to. Oh, definitely have to say. I've got to say, uh, nice seeing Greg. Um. Uh, Greg Gruber, that is. I'd like to, um, I gotta say, draw this show actually drew a very good crowd, uh, much like House of Madness in uh, last month. And don't forget, everybody, 
NYWC. Wait, wait, I forgot. I can't believe I ever mentioned, forgot to mention it. It's nice seeing Ashling and her friend Daniela. And um, definitely, I have to say, um, don't forget, folks, NYWC rules. <laughs>